What is going on, guys? Your boy Joey Shakes. I'm coming, guys, with a video right now. So I want to go over the free agent wide receivers for the Philadelphia Eagles and free agency. Now, um, some aren't available now because Monday uh, we had, you know, people, you know, teams had the franchise tag, the players that they wanted to stay on their teams. Looks like Chris Godwin will not be available. Um, Devontae Adams is not going to be available, obviously, because of, um, you know, Aaron Rodgers signed that new deal. So he's not going to be around. Um, Mike Williams is not going to be around. So there are a few wide receivers out there they're not going to be available but there are some that the Eagles could go after um, I think looking at a guy like Allen Robinson's a really good fit here he's got size he's a long rod receiver he's a possession guy uh, he's good at the top of his route I mean he could do almost anything he's got some obviously some injuries under his belt but at what 28 29 years uh, old I don't know what kind of deal that they would give him like how many more years can he play is he a future piece like you have a window with him to where you pair him up with Devontae Smith and see what he could do and that's if they don't go for a receiver in the draft obviously if they go pick up one of these guys so Alan Robinson's been you know a guy like on my list maybe a top three guy on my list in free agency that I would get but obviously not the top of my list uh, number two is Christian Kirk I really do like this a lot because um, I think Quez Watkins 647 yards Devontae Smith under a thousand and Jalen Hurts just has to play better Christian Kirk did not have a thousand yards last year he you know I think he could play inside he could play outside but I'm looking for the Eagles to sign Christian Kirk to be that inside uh, slot receiver you put Quez Watkins on the outside across from Devontae Smith and you let this offense uh, play really well so um, I do like this move a lot just because you know Kirk's not going to be that expensive uh, there is reports that he's going to explore his options for what team uh, he could fit with which I'm kind of surprised they're letting him go but I guess because of cap situations uh, they have to you know work out a long-term deal with Kyler Murray as of right now so um, he wants an extension so I guess you know they don't want to give you know guys too many contracts you know D Hop was injured and you know he's getting paid good amount of money right now so um, you know Christian Kirk I think would be very valuable here in the slot and I think we need that twitch guy in the slot I think we've always needed that obviously Greg Ward is not going to be on the team this year so uh, you really don't have much left you really don't have any quickness on the inside and I think you can have a lot with Christian Kirk um D, uh, DJ Chark is definitely um, my number one guy in free agency to get. I mean, his route running is fantastic. Explosiveness off the line. Um, yeah, I think, honestly, he's going to be an even better receiver on a better team. Um, you know, with the Eagles, I think he pairs up well with Devontae Smith. This is, you know, my number one guy coming out of free agency that I would definitely get. Um, so uh, we'll see what happens with DJ Chark. Juju Smith-Schuster, not my favorite wide receiver, but could work out as a number two receiver. Okay, now the four, before the Eagles, you know, drafted Devontae Smith in 2021, um, they literally went out and had a big deal on the table for Juju last year before he went back to the Steelers on a one-year deal. Um, you know, I, I don't mind Juju. Like, I'm just not a big fan of him, okay? Um, you know, over the years, it's just – he's done some weird things with his TikToks and he's done some like things that have really affected his own football team when he was with the Steelers. And I don't know, he's done some weird stuff, but I mean, other than really that, I, I think he would fit very well as a number two guy. Um, he's got the speed. He's, he can catch anything that comes towards him. His route running is great. You know what I mean? Like, I think he would work out here. It's just not my favorite. And I don't know what kind of deal they're going to have on the table, but I think one thing I can say is really good about him is that he's young. He's what? 25. You know what I mean? He's 25, 20. I think he's, I think he is 25, not 26. Um, I think he would fit very well here. I do. And I think this is going to be the guy because there are the, the rumors keep coming out. And like DJ Chark was probably a rumor I seen like, you know, a month ago that the Eagles are eyeing him in free agency. But Juju Smith Schuster's name keeps popping up, keeps popping up, keeps popping up the whole entire time. And like I said, last year they tried acquiring him. I guess they they kind of wanted to pair Juju up with Devontae Smith last year if that was going to be the case um, on a big deal that they kind of already had for him. So now they're going to get their second shot in getting him. Um, and they probably could, guys. This could realistically, I think, out of all the free agents and the rumors and everything I've been hearing, I think Juju is going to be the likely Philadelphia Eagle being on the Eagles next year, uh, this year in 2022. I think it's going to happen. I really do. Um, I just, I'm just getting that feeling Juju Smith-Schuster is going to be an Eagles green. That's just what I think, and that's how it's going to go. It's not my favorite. Uh, DJ Chark is definitely my favorite guy coming out of free agency and maybe an Allen Robinson after that, but 
you know, it's not my favorite, but I, I like I said, you know, Juju could play that number two role. I have no problem with it. Now they got to figure out what they're doing out with Quez Watkins. You know, is he going to play the outside? Can Quez Watkins play on the inside? What do the Eagles even think about Quez Watkins? You know, that's another thing we have to think about, too, because, you know, us fans really want to keep you got to stay on Quez and let him produce every year. He will get better. But this quarterback situation needs to get fixed. I mean, Jalen Hurts has to have the year of his career in 2022. If he wants to get these receivers the ball, it's got to happen. Otherwise, you know, you're you're paying these guys for no reason. If you know you're paying them to catch, and if the ball can't even get to them or at least targeted towards them, you got a problem here. So let me know in the comment section below what you guys think of the remaining wide receiver free agents. Obviously, not the ones that are franchise tagged as of right now, but what from what's left, there's still a pretty good selection. And you have the draft on top of it if you want to get another guy. So um, other than that, I will see you guys later. Shakes what up, follow slide. Peace out, guys. Peace.